I cannot work without the crutches. You came from where? South Africa. I want to salute your faith. <laughs> huh? Thank you, man. How do you know that you cannot walk? How do you know? <laughs> because, I saw, because I could not walk. It's painful and the bone is broken. <laughs> and you have been like this since when? Since Christmas. Vemos al hombre de Dios en estos momentos ministrando sanidad y liberación. Esta gente también viene de África del Sur. Hay una fractura a nivel de la jambe. Se ha pasado a Noel. No puede marchar sin las béquillas. Vamos a ver si puede orar por ella. Esta mujer viene de Sudáfrica. No puede caminar. I'm not praying for you to run, I'm praying for you to walk. When you walk, you can run tomorrow, but walk today. Thank you, Jesus Christ. So, our sister came all the way from South Africa. She's here to share her testimony right now. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Um, I greet you, saints, in the name of Jesus. My name is Busi Mgomezulu. I'm from South Africa. The problem that brought me to the Synagogue Church of All Nations was the fracture on the bone on, on, on my foot. So it happened recently at home as I was excited, jumping up and down. Um, I broke one of the bones and I visited the doctor. He said I should not step on the foot and it was so painful because the bone was, was, was broken, but it was not totally broken. And he said if I step on it, then it would break into two. So he gave me a pair of crutches and a moon boot to support the bone and the crutches to help me walk so that I cannot step on the foot because I could not walk without the crutches. Okay, so it was in this situation that you came from South Africa to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Now, can you just describe to us in the service yesterday what happened? So as I was uh, sitting down, the man of God walked past and saw me and um, he asked me like what happened and um, I told him that I've got a, a fracture and I cannot walk and I'm wearing a moon boot for support. And um, he started praying for me. And uh, the amazing thing that happened then was just the power of God that I felt. It's something that I've never experienced in my life. Um, it just felt like electricity or some, great, some fossil power that was coming inside of me. And it pulled me up because I just saw myself standing and I started walking towards the man of God because I saw that he was calling me, but I did not realize. Well, let's put our hands together louder for Jesus Christ. 
So you said, sister, as the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua prayed for you, you felt something like electricity go through your body. Can you just describe again how that happened, how that feeling was? Well, the way I see it in my head, it's like bolts of electricity going through your veins or something coming inside of you. And I don't know, like, it's like an like amazing feeling. I can't explain it. I've never felt something like it before, and I don't think any human has ever felt something like it. Well, we can see it here. So you mean to say, sister, at this point, that's how you just began to walk uh, for the first time since this accident, you were able to walk freely? Yes, it was the first time I started like walking freely with no pain, with no crutches, no moon boots. Uh, I thank Jesus for the healing. Ever since then, I'm free in Jesus' name. Wow, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So we saw the way you walked in right now. Just tell us, since the prayer yesterday, I mean, what are the changes you've seen? So the first thing that I just kept on checking right through the night was the swelling because my foot was swollen. Uh, so it has gone down completely. As you can see now, my feet, they look normal. My ankles are fine. Um, I feel perfect. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ one more time. So finally, sister, we just want you to walk one more time in the midst of the people of God. Just walk for us and show us what you can now do that you couldn't do before. Thank you, Jesus Christ.